Emotional testimony today from a mother who says medical marijuana has improved her son's health more than she ever thought possible. It's our top story at five. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. There's an ongoing debate over what medical marijuana should be used for. Today, the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs and the Bureau of Medical Marijuana Regulation held a public hearing in Lansing. Our Dana White was there and is here for you now in the studio. Now, Dana, this is an emotional topic for many people, isn't it? It is, Lauren. I spoke with one mother who says the use of medical marijuana has helped her son more than she ever thought possible. The purpose of this meeting was to give people a voice in their concerns over the need for certain medical conditions, including autism and anxiety, to be added to the list of medical conditions qualifying for medical marijuana treatment. Do you need me to make a phone call? That's it! Stop, Jaden! Now. Before medical marijuana, Amy Carter had to calm her son Jaden at least eight times a day. He is going on almost a year with no encounters with the police, which was kind of a regular thing for us. Jaden was diagnosed with autism when he was young, and Carter couldn't find the right medicine to work for him. But now after taking cannabis oil, Carter says Jaden is living a better life. Now he's saying, hey mom, look at that bird. Isn't that a pretty color blue? He's communicating, he's talking about his future. I've never been able to care about what's outside, what is life. And now I can actually see and feel what other people feel. But Jaden isn't the only person who says medical marijuana has helped them. David Harnes, who is the spokesperson for the Bureau of Medical Marijuana Regulation, says public hearings like these are needed to hear what the community has to say. You can only do so much in writing, right? You can turn in all the documents and all the paperwork, but it's good to hear from those who turned in that paperwork. As for Jaden's story, this mother says she'll continue to share in hopes that other kids get the same chance. I still am in awe on how well it worked for Jaden, and I feel that other families need that same opportunity here in Michigan. Today's meeting was only for public comment. The review panel will meet next Friday to review the petitions and vote to make recommendations on which medical conditions should be added to the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act.